I still love the game, even though even though it does that. Of course, they have to make their money, but you know, all characters are not sixty dollars. Let's just say sixty dollars. Like this dude right here, like he's a Nat two. All the Nat twos are are four K. So how much is four K? Um, that's so that's like that's eighteen. 18 plus 18 or you can just purchase the $43 and get some some stuff left over but also let me show you there is a way how you can get the characters for free also you can just naturally build up your gems from like just like how in summoners of wars how when you clear arena you get uh well actually when the season resets you get like gems back or what crystals whatever it's called the same thing happens here but also there's an aspect called heroes in and with the heroes in, you can actually get free heroes. Like, let me show you this one here that I have my end currently. His name is Philip. He costs damn sixty dollars, pretty much. And actually, he's actually really top tier. He's pretty meta for physical teams because what his passive does, it breaks the enemy's physical defense. So, meaning my Rodina, who is a single target nuker, and she is a um, what is it? She is a physical deal, a physical damage dealer. Well, they will synergize well together. But if you go to this spot that says invite hero to party, this is where you can actually get heroes for free. See, Philip, his name is Philip, he's right here. And once my um, kinship reaches 100, he's free. I, I get the kid for free. And also, if you want in the top right, you can end relationship. I never ended a relationship before. This was the first hero that popped up in my inn. So I, I don't know how does it work. I'm guessing you could only end a relationship maybe maybe once a week or something. I would assume, or they have to be a cooldown because that would be pretty cheesy if you can keep you can keep like ending relationships like and during the same day until so you get the heroes you want. But of course, it takes a long ass time because the free one greet and send gift. Well, pretty much all of them, it doesn't fill that much up of the kinship. So it takes, of course, you know there's a balance. It's, you're, getting, you're getting a character that's quote unquote worth $60, but if you're going to get it for free, it's going to take some time. Like how all paid, I won't call this game paid, eh. I guess how all free freemium games are, or free, just free games that have like in-app purchases. That's that's like the drawback, it's time, or you can use it, or you can use money to purchase it instantly. Alright, so, of course... That's there is um there's a drawback, but like this game that shouldn't deter you from this game because this game is still beautiful. And also, when you first start the game, they give you a free two star ticket. I mean, you could pick any two star in the game as long as they're not brand new. Like as long as they don't say, let me show you. As long as they don't say what is it, new hero, then you can't get it. But you can get any two star. Like when you first, I think I forgot when you, I think into a certain chapter. I'm not sure, but you can get a free two star hero. Like, who I pick, can, is she up here? Or no? Yeah, she's not up there because I already per she already have her in my party. But the succubus chick, she was two stars, and I ended up picking her. For free. And also, when you play for five days, you get a free three-star hero ticket. And that's who I picked, this chick right here, Rodina. I picked her right there. Yeah, she right there. Rodina, right there. And... After that, the game don't babysit you really. Of course, they give you they give you a lot of goodies too. They give you a lot. It's the starting goodies you get. It's so good. You get a lot of energy and all that. You get a lot of um, what is it? Consumables. You get these right here. Receive a, 150 stamina. You get a lot of goodies. A lot of goodies. But yeah. Um. Now I want to actually just trying to speed it up a little bit. I want to talk about gears and all that. Let me talk about the gears. So pretty much, um, I told you that there's a chapter 5. So there's tier 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5. And there's tiers 10. Tier 10s, they're called uniques. Pretty much, they're like the ultra rare items that are clat, that are, um, that are, what is it, character specific. Like, you see how this, how this is called the Holy Sword AA? I don't know how you pronounce it. But you can see that where right by class limit, it says Kaisel, if I'm saying his name correctly. So meaning only he can, let me see, uh, only he can wield it. Only he can actually use the weapon. Right here, only he can use it. And also, what's pretty dope about this game is, um, this is him right here. You can see how he got that basic sword. But it's for every character. If you equip their unique, you actually... Their actually their weapon actually changes, so you know it looks pretty damn beautiful, right? It looks pretty beautiful, hey. But of course, uh, 
So yeah, this weapon right here is actually better, but I don't really use him that often. He's he was I think he was a, a nat one if I'm correct. He's like he's like like the, the the um the four basic heroes that you get for free. Well, when you know, the main story characters that you get is this chick right here, Frey. You get um Kaso, you get uh Cleo, and you get Roy. And like he's still he's still a one star. I don't really use him. He's not really useful when I you know I, I don't really I have, I have no use for him pretty much. I have no use for him. All right, oops, so yeah, let's talk about gears real quick. So this is this is all your gears. Pretty much, again, like I said, the chapter one, two, three, four, and five, and there is, um, if I'm correct, there's five, uh, what is it, gear, I won't say gear type, but there's five quality gear types, so to speak. Pretty much, um, there's common. It's it's a, it got a white border, right? It's, it's like it's like yeah, it's pretty much a white border. They got green right here. What is, I'm not sure what is it called, but it's next is green, and then next is blue. I don't know the names exactly. Next is blue, and then it's purple. These are what they're called. I think they're called rares. I'm not sure. It's purple is next, and then it's red, ancient. After ancient is legendary. This is a, this is a legendary item, and then of course the final items are. Uniques. These are uniques. All of these are uniques. They're uniques. Okay. So, yeah. And also, you see with the items how they have like stars on it. Um, you can actually let me go to the forge. That's where you go next. The forge right here. Now with the forge, you go to awaken gear, and if you go to you tap the item, and what happens is once you give a gear that's that's like this once you have one piece of gear and you combine it with another piece of gear you can possibly give another star meaning this basic stat its base stats will go up its base stats will go up see you see how it says on the bottom magic defense it says 730 and have like the arrows that go to 786 meaning its base stats will go up if i get the, the success rate and I think it maxes out at five stars. So I can imagine like five stars with a one star item. Probably like a 1% chance to actually get that star off. <laughs> but yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, like, that's like the gist of the items. And also what you can do, you can enchant them. You see like what these magic powders are? If you enchant it, the current stat that's already on the item. Let me show you right here. You see how it says, uh, okay, physical defense, crit damage, and crit damage. Really? Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. Okay, I, I will be enhancing the attack percentage, um, physical dodge chance, and crit chance. Like with this item right here what, that, I, that I tap, if, if, um, if I have the, the magic powder requirements, the magic defense, attack, or crit chance will go either or. So there's like a 33% chance of one of these to go up. And of course, on the bottom left, it calls gold. It calls moolah, of course. You know? And to strengthen your weapon, it costs money. And also, you need to get the exact type. Meaning, like, you can't get, like, this This is a, a musket. It's called a musket. You can't get, like, a, a white common musket and put it with a, a purple to get a star for the purple. You can't do that. You have to get the exact same one for the stars. Let me show you. Um, you see how I can't put anything else? See how it's, it's grayed out? I can't put this item, I can't put this item, I can't put this item with it. It had to be like the same exact item in and type. Alright, so Yeah, that's pretty much how, how it works. And also with the item, how you how you um how you strengthen your items, you have to enhance it and you put um you put like stuff like this on it or stuff like this on it to level it up. And that'll make it stronger and make it base stats go stronger. And of course, there's like, um, there you see how it says additional options. You see where it says plus five. That means if you level up, if you if you get the item to level five, it will get that stat. If you level up to ten, plus ten, you get that stat underneath the middle stat. And if you get the fifteen, of course, you get that stat. But depending on the grade, you get more you get more stats on it. Like, let me show you this um, legendary item. This legendary have five. Well, no, wait, how many do you have? Yeah, damn, they have five. I didn't realize that. Yeah. No, no, wait, no, it have four. It have four. It have four. Yeah, this at the right the writing of it looks kind of wonky. So it have four. So you get four additional stats. This one you get three. So it's the legendaries that get more an additional stat, which can create that can make your character stronger. Now I'm gonna talk about the stats real quick. 
and next I'm gonna talk about my favorite parts, the animations and all that. I'm gonna be showing you pictures of the story mode and there's a little bit of spoilers, but I just wanna show you guys how beautiful this game is. All right, so let me pick up my Rodina. And these are her basic stats. It got max HP, attack, physical defense, magic defense. Underneath that is crit chance, crit damage, defense penetration, um, physical dodge chance, and attack speed. Let me check another one out. And also, there's also lifesteal. What else? There's attack speed, of course. Uh, there's CC, there's crowd control resistance. Uh, any more? There's accuracy. And it could be more that I'm missing, but that's like the, the some of the ones that I've named out. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be talking about evolves. Let me talk about evolves. Pretty much to evolve your character, it, it requires fragments. Like, let me show you her right here. You see, you see, not enough. You see where it says under Hero Pacifics, where it says not enough awakening materials. Meaning, I need to, I need to have 280 of this. What is it called? Fragment of Wisdom to fit one of three of the core requirements. Then I need a, a 280 of Fragments of Strategy. Then I need frag um, for Fragment of Fortune, I need 280 again. But this is for a five star. Like the five star is like the final the final um, stage to get to for your character at the moment. Of course, when you first play the game, you look, it's like five. So I can awaken this guy right now, but I'm not going to waste my... Um, I'm not gonna waste my uh, resources on him because I don't really like him that much. But yeah, that's how you evolve them. I think their base stats increase and all that other good stuff. Now, um, let's talk about my best part. The my favorite part is the animation. I'll be showing you pictures while I'm talking. I'm gonna show you pictures. I'm gonna be showing you this some of the what is it called? It's called Room of Ordeal. Let me let me let me go to it. So you go to this part right here. To actually, to actually, oh, to, cause like, okay, how it works, I, I think I have a video of how it works actually. Pretty much when you actually have enough fragments and you, and you, um, you, um, go into Room of Ordeals, obviously you, you the, this is what happened, you give them the fragments and all that and you have to enter a dungeon. And the dungeon is the specific, um, hero you're trying to evolve to the next star. Well, you're trying to give him the next star, you know, and you have to fight him. I'm gonna be showing you guys all that good stuff in the video, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much be showing you that um, added to the video. And it's it's definitely it's this difficult when you get to like four stars, like just to evolve my um, what is it? Um, what's her name? My Epis. Like she she pretty much wiped my whole team with my Rodina again. She's a single target nuker. I can show you her skills. It is her, her attack focus fire. She fires 10 shots that deals 47,000 physical damage and increased damage by 10% for each subsequent attack. So definitely she is she's my she's my damage dealer in the game. She does my she does the most damage in my in my like uh, in my party like always 100%. Definitely there's a lot more features I need to talk about in the game. But again, I, I'm sure this video has been going on for a long ass time. So also, I'm going to be adding, I want to add timestamps to the game. I want to add timestamps to this so I can make it a little bit easier. So if, if um, for some parts, you just want to skip it. Well, there's like specific parts you want to know if it fits your criteria. You can look at those specific timestamps in the video. But yeah, like definitely beautiful game. And um. And definitely, like, the animations in this game is, like, the characters, they have life. You know what I mean? Like, they have life. Let me show you one of my favorite animations in the game. Or one of my favorite character animations. I don't have her. But, like, you just, you can, she feels lively. She feels like how, she feels like a little, like how a girl, a little girl would act. Like, if she's at the playground or something. Let me, let me uh, do this, do this. Her name is Luna. She has my, the, my favorite animations. My favorite animation. Like, I love Luna so much. Okay, yeah, this is Luna right here. And I'm going to show you all of her animation. And, and this is for every character. You can see every character's animation. Okay, this is like her stance in battle. And like when she's walking, this is what she does. Oh, so she does actually change legs. Okay, I didn't notice that. I thought she was like with one leg. Okay. Yeah, I thought they were like, I thought they were actually lazy. You can actually like rotate and check out the character and all that good stuff. That's her death animation. I think that's her stun animation. That's her knockback animation, I'm correct? No, that's her knockdown animation. I think that, that other one was her knockback animation. Yeah, this is, this is when you actually get her. 
Like you, like look how like life. Like she seems so like she seems like an actual like uh, like how a little girl would act. Like I, 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 I just seriously, I love this. I love her animation so much. This, <laughs> of course, I think that's when you actually deal with her in the ordeal. I'm sure I should I show the the part. What happens with the ordeal? Um, let me keep continuing. And this, 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 look how like lively she acts. I just, I just love the animation that they put into the game. Like, I just love it so damn much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess yeah, she, she's like standalone is my, she's my favorite character in the game. Like just her animation is so damn lively. I can show you, um. Yeah, that's pretty much like, yeah, she's straight up my favorite damn. She had the best animation. I can show you. Okay, I can show you my girl Rodina. She's definitely my favorite. Like. <laughs> I can show you Rodina. That's like her walking, or just her stance, running stance. Death animation. Stun that thing. I remember. I was gonna show you brief. And that's her doing her first ability, piercing shots. Oh, also, yeah. So yeah, that, that's what you're seeing. You you also see the animation of their abilities. Yeah, yeah. That's when she's used her target aim. And yeah, that's that's just. I think that's her victory. Her victory, like once if she's alive and it's, it's a victory, that's what happens. And this is what happens when you actually get her, or when you actually awaken her. She does this animation. You know, so good. Gosh damn. Yeah, now what happens when you have her in an ordeal? She does that. Another animation. Of course, another animation, all that good stuff. And each character, you can check out all the animations, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll be wrapping up this video. That that just the first part, cause I, I didn't even go through a, like arena and all that good stuff. I didn't go through all that. I didn't even go through that. And also, I didn't even go through the Tower of Challenge. It's just like prima, uh, this is the equivalent of Ascension and um, Summoner's Wars. But I don't think I don't think in this game mode. I mean, in this game, it actually resets. So I don't think it does that. Uh, let me go right here. And also, there's like a general shop. There's a there's a stockade. There's a forge. Of course, I showed you the forge. There's a guild. I talked about how I have my own guild. There's a Orville Castle. Pretty much, you get five entries, and you can. What is it? Oh, you can get huge gold bonuses every time you clear one. And the Gugas Together Arena and the heroes in it, all that good stuff. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All that good stuff. You know, um, these are my stats. <laughs> these are my stats right here. But not really my stats, but like, this is like, yeah. Well, it shows my level, my experience, and all that. And also, it's interesting that you can actually pick previous versions of characters and actually see them right there. Like, th like this is what this is what her like her her three star form when she was a three star. Of course, these are, uh, these are other characters that I've I've maxed out, of course. You see Epis right there. But like, you know, that's my, my girl right here. That's my girl right there. That's my girl. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All that good stuff. I'll be talking about more or probably having some more gameplay in the future. And I'll be playing this game and going hard. Come and join me. And yo, let's have some fun together. King's Raid, man, rolling out. Peace out, guys. Have a great day, great night, all that good stuff. against the darkness inside of you.